49 minutes and three seconds, yet the whistles can hardly be heard. The battle is not over yet for the opponents of the French pension reform, who called on football fans to make some noise in opposition of Article 49.3. What was meant to be a grand gesture of defiance against the French president, who was present on game day to greet the players, instead fell flat. On Saturday, as fans gathered at the Stade de France for the final of the French Cup, unions greeted the public at the metro stops with plastic whistles and red cards. We're counting on you to make as much noise as possible at 49 minutes and 3 seconds. However, many fans on Saturday night were more interested in celebrating football than thinking about politics. It wasn't the night to continue protesting, it was a night of celebration. It has nothing to do with that. Sports is different from politics. Nevertheless, some express their solidarity with the protesters. I whistled because I care about the pension reform. So what to expect on the 1st of May, International Labour Day? Opponents of the controversial reform have called for people to come out and protest. We still don't want this pension reform and we'll continue the mobilisation until the end. Will Monday be the movement's last stand or a new show of force? For the first time in 14 years, all French unions will march together. The objective is to make a success of the 1st of May. And what we've heard is that it'll be one of the biggest social movements in the last 30 or 40 years. I do expect a possible follow-up movement, but sometimes there are predictions that don't come true. 300 protests are expected to take place across France, with French authorities predicting a turnout between 500,000 and 650,000 people.